Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the CP3 Wired Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Yeah, the listing says Gaming Keyboard, RGB Wired Keyboard, Anti-Ghosting, 87 key mechanical keyboard with blue switches for laptop, Windows, PC, games and work. It's listed for around $49 on Amazon has pretty good reviews so I thought I'd give it a try and let you know what I think about this thing. We have the US layout which is important. We have the blue switches which are causing or supposed to cause some uh, clicking noise if you like that or you at least if you can deal with that. Some people say the blue switches have some advantages for typing, but, but of course the disadvantage is the clicking noise and it's a full RGB. Let's see if we have some more information, just the layout here, but not much. Here we have some uh, product support information. Yeah, that's it here. Let's open the box and see how this looks in real life we get some uh, product information i think that's not much maybe if you're interested into that you can pause it and go to the highest resolution maybe you'll find something helpful here we have different led modes and we get some accessories especially to remove uh, keys when they are broken we get two replacement switches and this thing uh, tweezers to pick them up it comes nicely protected in this bubble wrap what i notice that it's pretty heavy my old keyboard which i'm using with the uh, brown switches which i really like because they are uh, not really silent. I mean, I have had uh, keyboards which are more silent, but the brown uh, switches, they do not really cause a lot of noise, no clicking sound. But this one, the brown one, is much more lightweight. This is pretty heavy. I mean, uh, as long as you don't have to carry this thing around, I think that's a good uh, thing that it's heavy because the more heavy of course means it's more uh, more stable more sturdy so let's look at the height that's pretty interesting i don't know if this is always the case with the blue switches but definitely a difference between this keyboard and my brown uh, keyboard or the one with the brown switches here we can see this gap here with the other one i have there's no gap to see so it looks like the keys are uh, a little bit higher and you can see or you can hear uh, this thing here how it sounds so i brought this uh, old keyboard uh, the one which i really like with the brown switches to compare a little bit and you can see the size is exactly same or very close to that but there's definitely a difference in weight so this one here is definitely uh, heavier than this one uh, so let's lift it up and see that the difference which i was talking about is a huge difference you can see this here so here on the right side the old one is no gap on the left side there's a big gap i don't know what it means at the end i'm not a keyboard specialist i'm just trying to find my perfect keyboard it looks like a little bit more vulnerable uh, maybe to spills or so i have really no clue but it is apart from that looking very similar what we have uh, here in the back as well we have this stand what i noticed it just has one level so sometimes keyboards have different levels some one uh, like off and in between and then full that's not here we have just one uh, height here but it has some rubber here when it's open that's uh, some soft rubber which gives some 
additional hold when it's closed there is nothing like uh, i can't feel uh, much of a soft rubber maybe a little bit it will help but this thing is not soft rubber so you have to keep it open to have maximum uh, hold here and this is the other side i mean of course same thing here i'm not, not complaining i mean this is similar thing here uh, but when it's closed you can see the difference this uh, here this flap here uh, with my old keyboard has also some soft rubber feet when it's closed so you don't have to uh, have it open uh, to have maximum uh, non-slip thing so I don't know if it's a big difference but uh, I guess most people uh, will use it with the flaps and not without but you can see yeah there's a, there's a little bit of a difference so when it's open it's uh, much more secure so you will have to almost use it with the open flaps and now let's come to the almost most difficult difference when we click here so i stop talking after that and i click here we can hear this clicking noise uh, with the blue switches but with the brown switches we won't hear that So there's uh, at the moment for me not much of a difference to feel regarding typing. They are very close. Uh, the biggest difference is definitely the clicking noise of the blue one. But I'm going to test this on my new mini PC and then I'll let you know how it really works for me. And I'm also going to show you the different colors. Yeah, so here we are with this keyboard and it definitely looks pretty fancy here with these different functions and colors and I will show you everything what I have found so far so the light is a little bit dimmed and I hope the camera will be able to catch most of the colors pretty good it's definitely not a low light camera so it's definitely not a perfect representation of what i'm personally seeing so the colors are actually really good probably better than what you see on the screen but uh, yeah it is as good as it gets with this camera so i'm starting uh, with the colors here so we can uh, yeah I'm going to the default setting the FN and the escape is the default setting and the FN and the print screen is off so let's go back to the default setting we can change the colors here we have uh, different colors we have also some specific colors like the red which is a really nice red probably not what you see here on this camera it's a nice red nice green it's a nice blue nice yellow and purple and uh, yeah everything really good we can also change the brightness here with the arrow down and up so here with the arrow down we decrease and with the arrow up we can increase the brightness in about five levels so i'll show you a couple of different functions here yeah, here it's off here it's very wild then you have also some slow changing uh, things some pulsing things different uh, patterns so you can see some of the patterns are really wild and changing fast so uh, i doubt that they are really helpful especially this thing i mean it might look cool but uh, it could be very difficult to see anything especially when it's dark i mean when it's uh, in full brightness then it shouldn't be a problem but actually the letters on the keys are uh, not very strong printed so even when it's pretty high i mean you can see it but especially when it's not so bright it's difficult without the colors and you almost need the colors and then of course you need something better like something like this at least this it's still changing a little bit but it uh, illuminates all the keys here another really wild one here yeah, there are so many different things i think we have 
now uh, showed everything. We have also some gaming functions with the FN. We have the one, we have the two, we have the three, we have the four, we have the five. That's everything. As far as I've been able to see, we cannot change the color. It's just possible with the white, but we can make it a little bit darker and more bright and but of course i would recommend to use maybe something like this to type and for gaming or fancy stuff of course you can change the pattern and the illumination colors everything i've been typing a lot this afternoon like normal office stuff or also a little bit of gaming and for me it works really good i was pretty happy with it of course you cannot get rid of the clicking sound you have to deal with that if you like it or if you can bear it yeah no problem if you don't like it maybe not so good especially if you are working in a large office space maybe it could bother other people you have to be aware of that if you're alone in your office or at home then probably not so uh, such a problem. I think you can get used to that. A lot of people really love it, especially the typing. I think it's pretty good. It's comfortable. I've also let other people type around and they felt really comfortable. They loved it. And so I think it can be a good thing. Also a nice gift, uh, especially for people who love these fancy things, maybe gamers or so, younger people. And I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out. Order it out from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.